Hey everyone, how's it going? This is NoJ456 and yesterday the Skyrim Update 1.5 was released and I'm going to go ahead and play the trailer right here and then talk about it, so enjoy. And as you can see through that trailer that was released about three weeks ago, the main thing that's going to be added in in this update is kill cams. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the kill cams that I got to talk through them and then give you some uh, other information that they released on their website, some different quest fixes, and they updated the water and how the water looks. Sorry, there goes my phone. But uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start this first clip. This one shows the uh, me using the ice spike spell on the mud crab. And as you can see, it followed the spike all the way through, which I think looks pretty cool. And then uh, the weird thing is I it actually engaged the kill cam on this one, even though I didn't kill it with the ice spike. It hit the mud crab and then slowly drained its health, health and then I killed it again here. But uh, this shows you that it actually will engage the kill cam whenever you uh, you don't even kill the person, so this is pretty useful. And the next thing I'm going to show is the new water visibility whenever you're swimming uh, above water or below water. As you can see it looks a lot more clear, you can actually tell where things are, it doesn't look as murky, and it's just all around improved visibility. And what I'm going to do now is just let these kill games play in the background and talk about some of the things on the website that they've released with this patch. Uh, the main thing that I saw that stood out to me the most is followers will actually sneak when your player is sneaking so they won't ruin your surprise attack. I hardly ever take a follower with me because they don't know how to sneak. Uh, some of the other things, this one if you haven't gotten the marriage achievement yet, Lydia will now offer marriage after a player purchases Breeze home in Whiterun. So if you don't have a wife and you're looking for a home, uh, go to Whiterun and buy the Breeze home. It's pretty small, it's not the biggest house and it doesn't have the best stuff but I'm pretty sure it's the cheapest. And uh, if anyone actually knows if that's true, leave it in the comments below. The smithing skill is now a factor in how much an item costs, which means if you make the item on the workbench and make everything yourself, it's actually worth more than if you just find it on a person and sell it that way. So that's a pretty good way to make some money whenever you're smithing. Uh, there's just general memory optimizations and making the game run more smoothly, which I'm hoping actually works because my game gets pretty laggy sometimes, I don't know about you guys. And there's a, there's a couple more, there's some general quest fixes and nothing really special, but uh, if you want to take a look at that list I'll leave it in the description below. It's a link to their website with all the complete list. And uh, before this video ends I'm going to leave you with a video of me decapitating someone. Uh, I randomly got this, it wasn't part of the update because I know that it it had happened before. But uh, if you did enjoy this video and it helped you out, please leave a like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. Uh, I'm getting partnered pretty soon, so I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos and be able to live stream if you guys want me to. So be sure to leave a comment on this video if you want a tutorial on anything, want me to show you anything. But this video has gone on far too long, so here's the video of me decapitating someone. Be sure to check out the two videos at the end and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. First